The UN's nuclear watchdog has just given Japan the go-ahead to release over a million tons of nuclear wastewater into the Pacific Ocean. To be clear, we're talking about the water used to cool the fuel rods of the Fukushima plant following its earthquake and tsunami-induced meltdowns in 2011. Despite the many concerns raised about this, the International Atomic Energy Agency has decided after a two-year assessment that the release water, quote, will have negligible radiological impact on people and the environment. I don't know about you, but that's kind of scary. In other news, it's a good day for animals because the Canadian government has just banned the testing of cosmetic products on them. And while the announcement made sure to stress that this testing was already rarely conducted in the country, the new laws will also ban the selling of any products that relied upon animal testing. The Canadian government is also working with the international scientific community to find alternatives to animal testing in general. Good for you, Canada! And negotiations between UPS and the union representing over 300,000 of its workers are going so badly, they can't even agree on who walked away from them first. The Teamsters claim that UPS walked away from the bargaining table after presenting an unacceptable offer, which the company denied, saying it was the Teamsters who abandoned negotiations. Either way, with the current contract set to expire at the end of the month and UPS responsible for delivering about 6% of America's GDP, it's time to get worried. I'll see you back here in the Naked Newsroom for more headlines a little later. Don't go away.